Today is the day of resurrection. Let us shine forth, O ye nations. For the Pascha is the Pascha of the Lord. In that Christ did make us pass from life unto death, from death unto life. And from the earth to heaven, who now sing the song of victory and triumph. Alumu binan 
نشرب مشروبا جديدا ليس مستخرجا بآية باهرة من صخرة صامة لكنه ينبوع عدم الفساد بفيضان المسيح من القبر الذي به نتشدد. Let us cleanse our senses that we may behold Christ shining like lightning with the unapproachable light of resurrection. That we may hear him say openly, Rejoice while we sing to him the dream of victory. Liaqif ma'na ala al-mahris al-ilahi, Habaquq al-mutafawihu bil-ilahiyyat, Walyuniran malak al-muttashih al-ziyya, قائلا جهارا اليوم خلاص للعالم لأن المسيح قد قام بما أنه على كل شيء قدير Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad as is meet and let the whole world visible and invisible feast for Christ that risen to everlasting joy. لنبتكر أن مد لجينا دلجة عميقة ولنقرب أن للسيد التسبيح الناقع وضى الطيب الزكي ولنعين المسيح الذي هو شمس العدل مطلع مطلع الحياة للكون. Let us rise early at morn at the break of dawn and let us behold instead of fragrant ointment bring your praise to the master. Let us behold Christ who is the Son of Righteousness, bringing life unto all. أيها المسيح لقد نزلت إلى سافل داركات الأرض فسحقت الأمخال الدهرية المثبتة الضابطة المعتقلين وفي اليوم الثالث بارست ناهضا من القبر كما بارز يونان من الحوت. O Christ, they who in Hades bonds are changed, sing thy boundless loving kindness, hasten with feet, celebrating. An eternal Pascal. In the one who raised the dead from the grave, when he was a man, he learned as a child, and with tears, he brought to the dead the beauty of the fire. I with him have been. المباركة والممجدة واحدة. Let us rise early in the morning at the break of dawn, and let us instead of fragrant ointment bring your praise to the Master. Let us behold Christ, who is the Son of Righteousness. Bringing life unto all. In this day, the Lord, 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 
الذي فيه نبارك المسيح إلى الأدهى O Christ in the deepest abyss of the earth Thou didst descend And didst bring the unyielding everlasting bars Which hath held that captive and on the third day thou didst rise from the tomb as Jonah from the wind. Hi, sunshine. Please rise. The angel spake to her that is full of grace, saying, O pure. Have you, Mark, as a good, free, and unconstrained will and a firm intention to take unto yourself to wife this woman, Catherine, whom you see here before you? Have you, Catherine, a good, free, and unconstrained will and a firm intention to take unto yourself to husband this man, Marcus, whom you see here before you? Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Christos Anesti Agnekron Thanato 
Thanatun Patisas Ketisantis Nima Sizoin Harisamenos Christ is risen from the dead. Christ is risen from the dead. Trampling down death by death and upon those in the tomb. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, in the union of all mankind, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house and for those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God into therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our metropolitan Joseph, for the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the servant of God, Marcus, for the handmaid of God, Catherine, who now ply to each other their troth and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That he will send down upon them perfect and peaceful love and his help. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That he will preserve them in oneness of mind and steadfastness of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That he will bless them with a blameless life. Let us pray to the Lord. That the Lord our God will grant unto them an honorable marriage. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us. And keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life Unto Christ our God. Amen. 
Let us pray to the Lord. to all Spirit. let us bow our heads unto the Lord the Lord O Lord our God who has espoused the church as a pure virgin from among the Gentiles bless this betrothal unite and preserve these thy servants in peace and oneness of mind for unto thee are do all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Amen. God, Catherine is betrothed to the servant of God, Marcus, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Barban Amatullah, Catherine, ala Abdullah, Marcus, Bissil Abu, Alibn, wa Ruh al Qudu. Amen. The handmaid of God, Catherine, is betrothed to the servant of God, Marcus, in the name of the Father, and of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Blessed are all they that fear the Lord and walk in his way. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Thou shalt eat the fruits of thy labors. 
O blessed art thou, and happy shall thou be. Majdulaka ya ilahan al Subhan upon the walls of thy house, thy children like a duly planted olive orchard, round about thy table. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. المجد لك يا إلهنا المجد لك. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. Master bless. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Christ is risen from the dead, trembling down death. By death, death, and to those in the tombs, bestowing life, bestow sanesti ekron, vanato, vanato, ati. قام من بين الأهموات ووطئ الموت به الموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور In peace let us pray to the Lord Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Father and Metropolitan Joseph. For the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the servants of God, Marcus and Catherine, who are now being united to each other in the community of marriage and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. That he will bless this marriage as he blessed that in Cana of Galilee. Let us pray to the Lord that he will make them glad with the sight of sons and daughters. Let us pray to the Lord that he will grant to them and to us all our petitions which are unto salvation. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life Unto Christ our God. Unto thee, O Lord. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Have mercy. Blessed art thou, O Lord, our God, the priest of mystical and pure marriage, and the ordainer of the law of the marriage of the body, the preserver of immortality, and the provider of good things. Do thou the same master who in the beginning this, man, this make man and set him to be king over thy creation, and did say, it is not good for man to be alone on the earth. Let us make a help meet for him. And this fashion woman, which when Adam beheld, he said, This is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for this cause shall a man leave father and mother and shall cleave unto his wife. And the twain shall be one flesh. And those whom God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. Do thou now also, O Master, our Lord and our God, send down thy heavenly grace upon these thy servants, Marcus and Catherine, and grant that this thy handmaid may in all things be pleasing unto her husband, and that this thy servant may love and cherish his wife, that they may live according to thy will. Bless them, O Lord, our God, as thou didst bless Abraham and Sarah. Amen. Bless them, O Lord, our God, as thou didst bless Isaac and Rebekah. Amen. Bless them, O Lord, our God, as thou didst bless Joachim and Anna. Amen. Bless them, O Lord, our God, as thou didst bless Zacharias and Elizabeth. Amen. Preserve them, O Lord, our God, as thou didst preserve Noah in the ark. Preserve them, O Lord, our God, as thou didst preserve the three holy children from the fire. And let that gladness come upon them, which the blessed Helena had when she found the precious cross. Remember them, O Lord, our God, as thou didst remember thy forty holy martyrs, sending down upon them crowns from heaven. Remember them, O Lord, our God, and the parents who have nurtured them. For the prayers of parents make firm the foundations of houses. Remember, O Lord, our God, thy servants, the attendants of the bridal pair who share, who share in this joy. Remember, O Lord, our God, thy servant, Marcus, and thy handmaid, Catherine, and bless them. Amen. Grant them fair children and concord of soul and body. Exalt them like the cedars of Lebanon, like a luxuriant vine, that having sufficiency in all things, they may abound in every work that is good and acceptable unto thee. And let them behold their children's children round about their table like a newly planted olive orchard, that obtaining favor in thy sight, they may shine like the stars of heaven in thee, our Lord and God. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. O holy God, who didst create man out of the dust and this fashion his wife and join her unto him as a helpmeet. For it seemed good to thy majesty that man should not be alone upon the earth. 
Do thou the same, Lord, extend thy hand from thy holy dwelling place and join this thy servant, Marcus, and this thy handmaiden of God, Catherine. For by thee is the husband united unto the wife. Unite them in one mind and one flesh and grant unto them fair children for education in thy faith and fear. For thine is the majesty and thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The servant of God, Marcus, is crowned unto the handmaid, Catherine, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The servant of God, Marcos, is crowned unto the handmaid, Catherine, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Allah Abdullahi Marcos, wa Abdullahi Catherine. Bismillah, Abi wal Ibni wa Ruh al Qudu. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. The handmaid, Catherine, is crowned unto the servant of God, Marcus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The handmaid, Catherine, is crowned unto the servant of God, Marcus, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, our God, crown them with glory and honor. أيها الرب إلهنا بالمجد والكرامة كللهما O Lord our God crown them with glory and honor Let us attend. Thou hast set upon their heads crowns of precious stones. They asked life of thee, and thou gavest it them. For thou wilt give them thy blessing forever and ever. Thou wilt make them to rejoice with gladness through thy presence. Wisdom. The lesson is from the epistle of Holy Apostle Paul to the Ephesians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, give thanks always for all things unto God and the Father and the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Wives, submit yourself unto your husbands as unto the Lord, for the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify it and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought the men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself, for no man ever yet hateth his own flesh, but nourisheth and cherisheth it, even as the Lord the church for we are members of his body. 
of his flesh and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife, even as himself, and the wife see that she reverence her husband. حياة سلاك فأعطيتهما حكمة فصل من رسالة القديس بولس الرسول لأهل أفسوس يا إخوة أشكر الله الآب كل حين على كل شيء باسم ربنا يسوع المسيح خاضعين بعضكم لبعض بمخافة الله أيها النساء اخضعنا لرجالكن كما للرب لأن الرجل هو رأس المرأة كما أن المسيح هو رأس الكنيسة وهو مخلص الجسد فكما تخضع الكنيسة للمسيح فكذلك النساء لرجالهن في كل شيء أيها الرجال أحب نساءكم كما أحب المسيح الكنيسة وبذل نفسه لأجلها ليقدسها مطهرا إياها بغسل الماء بالكلمة ليوضحها لنفسه كنيسة مجيدة لا دنس فيها ولا غضن ولا شيء مثل ذلك بل تكون مقدسة ومنزهة عن كل عيب فلذلك يجب على الرجال أن يحبوا نساءهم كأجسادهم من أحب امراته وحب نفسه فإنه لم يبغض أحد جسده بل يغذيه ويربيه كما يعامل الرب الكنيسة فإن أعضاء جسده من لحمه ومن عظامه ولذلك يترك الرجل أباه وأمه ويلزم امرأته فيكونان كلاهما جسدا واحدا إن هذا السر العظيم عظيم نقول هذا بالنسبة إلى المسيح والكنيسة وأنتم أيضا فليحب كل واحد امرأته كنفسه والتهب المرأة رجولها to thee the to reader hallelujah 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 wisdom attend let us hear the holy gospel peace be to all and to thy spirit A reading from the holy gospel according to saint john the evangelist glory to the lord glory to let us be attentive. At that time there was a marriage at Cana in Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Jesus also was invited to the marriage with his disciples. When the wine gave out, 
The mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. And Jesus said to her, O woman, what have I to do with you? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to the servants, Do whatever he tells you. Now six stone jars were standing there for the Jewish rites of purification, each holding twenty or thirty gallons. Jesus said to them, Fill the jars with water, and they filled them up to the brim. He said to them, Now draw some out and take it to the steward of the feast. So they took it when the steward of the feast tasted the water now become wine and did not know where it came from. Though the servants who had drawn the water knew, the steward of the feast called the bridegroom and said to him, Every man serves the good wine first, and when men have drunk freely, then the poor wine. But you have kept the good wine until now. This, the first of his signs, Jesus did at Canaan Galilee. and manifested his glory, and his disciples believed in him. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. For thou art a merciful God who lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Count us worthy, O Master, that with boldness and without condemnation we may dare to call upon thee. The heavenly God as Father and to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. <clears throat> Amen. peace be to all. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 oh
made fast the round world, and adornest the crown of all things which thou hast made. Bless now with thy spiritual blessing this common cup, which thou didst give to those who are now united in community of marriage. For blessed is thy name, and glorified is thy kingdom, of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Bring it here, Father John. Father John, bring it here. Bring it here. Marcos, be exalted like unto Abraham, and be thou blessed like unto Isaac, and do thou multiply like unto Jacob, walking in peace and keeping the commandments of God in righteousness. And you, Catherine, be thou exalted like unto Sarah, and exalt like unto Rebecca, and do thou multiply unto Rachel, and rejoice thou in thy husband, fulfilling the conditions of the law, for so is it well pleasing unto God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. O God, our God, who didst come to Cana of Galilee, and didst bless there the marriage feast. Bless also these thy servants, who through thy good providence are now united together in wedlock. Bless their goings out and their comings in. Replenish their life with good things. Receive their crowns into thy kingdom, preserving them <clears throat> spotless, blameless, and without reproach. Unto ages of ages. Amen. Now what you do, you bring your heads together, close together. Like that. Yeah. Well. May the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit the all-holy, consubstantial, and life-giving Trinity, one Godhead and one kingdom, bless you 
and grant unto you length of days, fair children, prosperity of life and faith, and fill you with abundance of all earthly good things, and make you worthy to obtain the blessings of the promise through the prayers and intercessions of the holy Theotokos and of all the saints. Amen. Amen. Glory to Thee, O Christ, our God and our hope. Glory to Thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Master, bless. May he who by his presence at the marriage feast in Cana of Galilee did declare marriage to be an honorable estate, Christ our true God, through the prayers of his all holy mother, of the holy glorious and all laudable apostles, of the holy God crowned kings and saints equal to the apostles Constantine and Helena, of the holy great martyr Procopius and of all the saints. Have mercy upon you and say, for as much as he is good and loveth mankind. Christ is risen. Truly, Christos Anesti. Be seated, please. Beloved clergy and beloved Marcos and the wife, Catherine, you may kiss each other now before I begin my. <laughs> We're happy for you. We're happy for you. Beloved in Christ, the two families, Salim and Kenan, they brought all of us together to pray for this wonderful couple. We are not here for just to sign papers. We are here to pray for them. We are not here for a contract because this is not a contract. This is a holy mystery. You know, now you see me, you see the clergy, you see my crown, you see like many things here. But one thing matters, the grace of God upon them and upon all of us. That the only thing matters. So you did it your way. We did it our way, and we are here to pray for them because life without prayer, you know what's going to happen. We hear about problems these days. We hear about fight all the time. We, we, we hear you know, like a million of things. But let us hear, you know, like how, how could the grace of God bear fruits in our life? That makes more sense. Today in this holy mystery, in, in the holy sacrament, we heard many beautiful things, like bless, O oh Lord, bless Marcos like Abraham, and Abraham, you know, like the, the, the patriarch. Bless Catherine like Sarah, his wife, and they, they pleased God in every possible way until the last moment of their life. So that's why God has blessed them and has, has blessed them with many children. We heard tonight that to do His will, to do everything according to His will, and we, we say it all the time in the Lord's Prayer, let your, let your, you know, like, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So that's why we are talking to God as our Father, and He is our Father. He is the Father of all humanity. So the Father of all humanity, the Creator, 
our, our Lord Jesus Christ is to bless this couple and enable them to grow in the faith and to prosper and to, to, uh, to have a, a joyous life, to have a joyous life, a peaceful life. You know, if we imitate what other people do outside of the sacrament, you know, like only God knows what's going to happen. But when we trust God, and God is the only one who can help this couple to grow and develop and, and prosper, is God. We heard tonight also that to bless them like the cedars of Lebanon. What's that mean? The cedars of Lebanon. You know, those who come from Lebanon, those who uh, already been to Lebanon, and they've been to the cedars mountain, the cedar uh, mountain. So they know that the cedar tree has deep, deep, deep roots and is not going to die after that, you know, like easily. So that's why this is a metaphor that to bless them, like to have roots, very deep roots, in order to live like the cedar of Lebanon. And the last thing I would like to highlight, when we said, like, to shine like the stars of, of heaven. That is a big thing. That is a big thing. You know, now gifts, fine. Food, fine. Celebration, fine. Anything we can do is blessed by God, no, no problem. But let this couple now, this new family, shine like the, 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 the stars of heaven. You know, we need them. Our prayer is, is like requiring them to, to live in peace and repentance, to live a happy life, a healthy life. You know, like, of course, they will find millions of reasons like to fight among each other. But that fight is not going to lead them to something ugly later. So fight, you know, like when we have argument, when you disagree with me or I disagree with you, that is not like something bad. So a husband and wife living together all the time, so for sure they will have bad moments, but that should not lead them to the end. So if they have love for each other, if they have respect, mutual respect, like the moment respect is gone, means everything is finished. So don't let that happen. Okay, this is my advice for you. And when you need me, just pick up the phone and talk. Let us talk. You have good parents from the two families. You have the clergy, fine clergy, and I am here to serve you as well. Your marriage has to be a good example to many people. Look how many Beautiful young people here waiting in line, in the line. <laughs> so let your marriage today, let your love, let your life, exemplary life, be like a good example for them. And in this way, your, your life would, would, would be so blessed with many, many blessings, and you will shine like the stars in heaven. God bless you. Congratulations. Now you are a husband and wife. May God bless your way, your life, and your mind, and your body, and your soul. God bless you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Good job. Many times you did it. But by the beauty of my virginity, and the exceeding
Yeah. 